Cancers. This is Star Bright Tara here to do like a daily read and see what's going on with you guys for April the 10th, 2020. This is for Cancers, for my love of Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ugh. You guys want to talk already? What's going on, Cancers? <laughs> this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. So please do not make this your story. Okay. You got some kind of reunion going on here. A marriage or reunion with this fire energy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got the king of cups and the nine of staff. You feeling passionate about another water sign? Or someone being compassionate about you? A fire sign? Let's continue on and see what's going on. Let's see. Ooh. A new beginning? Some of you guys having a new beginning? Somebody trying to reach out to you? <laughs> the Queen of Cup also could be a Gemini. Feeling compassionate about you. A water sign? It could be um, a Cancer or a Pisces or a Gemini. Someone feeling compassion about you. They want a new beginning. And the Ace of Cups will be somebody new also. Okay, one more. Some of you guys manifest this. Or whoever this person is is feeling sad. Let's see what's going on. Someone feeling sad about um, a brand new start with a a Cancer or Pisces or a um, a Gemini that he's feeling compassion about that he's want a reunion with. Hmm, let's see what's going on with this. This is. Are you feeling sad about a brand new start? That you feeling guarded about some kind of reunion? Maybe this is where they will see what's going on with this. You feeling sad about a brand new start to have your guards up by a reunion or marriage? Let's see what's going on. A magician. You got the three of staff. You feeling sad about a choice? With that fire energy. Don't act without thinking. Something you act without thinking. With this Queen of Pentacles. Hmm, some of y'all must have went off on this Queen of Pentacles. This could be a um a Capricorn. Or somebody's in this energy. Someone just think about focus on money all the time. Like nice things, cars, nice women or men, whatever. Some of y'all must have went off on this uh, Capricorn or this uh, Queen of Corn energy. This your final decision? Hmm. With a Libra or somebody's in this energy? That that got you in this hermit mode. You feeling sad about something? You get you've made a final decision about this queen of coins that you could be watching or stalking or act without thinking about the choice. The choice you made got you sad. Hmm. Okay. Let me see about this ace of cups. Tell me more about this ace of cups. Tell me more. This Ace of Cup, you want things to change. You're trying to see things from a different light with this water energy. About a third party situation. 
with an earth energy. With this King of Cups, this could be a Scorpio or a Libra. This is someone that can keep their emotions. They know how to control their emotions. You never know how they're thinking or how they feel about you because they keep it inside. They know how to control it. Tell me more. Someone's feeling stuck. Like they in prison, can't go anywhere. About somebody in a family or has a family. With this ten with this water energy. One more. This is someone that already planted their seed. Hmm. This is this here. I want things to change. Same thing. Hmm. Some of y'all is feeling some kind of repercussions about a family that got you stuck with this um, Scorpio or this Libra that's in a third party. You're trying to see things from a different light. You hope things would change. Hmm. How about this nine of staff? Tell me more. Uh oh. Some of you guys want to take a leap of faith, or this could be the other party. Uh oh. With this justice, Libra. You really don't know where this is going. So you want to work on things with this. This could be a Capricorn or an Aquarius. You want to work on things with this person. You don't know where it's going. You want trying to balance out things. There was some kind of conflict or some kind of competition that he had you in or she. This person wanted some kind of victory with you. It's like this person was playing some kind of game. He tried to come back into your light, trying to th stir things up so he could have victory. This is someone that you could uh, um, ignore for a while. You want to move forward with a Leo or somebody's in this energy that wants victory with this fire, uh, yeah, fire energy that broke your heart with this air energy. This is someone that is have you no know, have their own money. They really don't need anybody. They like nice things around them. They could be a single person, but they're missing love. But it's a snake here. I don't know. I just see a snake with this um, earth energy. This person trying to balance things with you guys. This person have a family. This is someone you had a towel with. And for the fourth staff, you feel burdened by this by this reunion or marriage that that went kind of fast, fast movement. That you had to walk away from. This could be a fr a frenemy, not no actual relationship, but a frenemy. I mean, like somebody that you maybe messed around with or just on, you know, friends kept it friendly, but you still have feelings that you feeling remorse about it. Or that person feeling remorse? This person gonna live at a distance.
So you made a decision. What a Cancer or a Leo? To start a new beginning. So some of you guys made a decision to start a new beginning with a Leo or somebody's in this energy. But you feel burdened by this. Hmm. Over our energy. This is a tough one here. Over our energy for cancers. You had some kind of type of ending. An uh, ending is going on with you guys. You could have had an ending with a Scorpio. Or just an ending with any energy. That person was uh, very deceitful. Yeah. This person can be a boss with this uh, Aries uh, energy. They got you feeling like uh, uh, left out in the cold. This person just only came back just to ruffle, just to ruffle your feathers, uh, Cancers. Be careful. A lot of people just coming back and seeking to get you again and then trying to ruffle your feathers. Come on. <laughs> Use your intuition about people that's coming back. A lot of mind games. You think this person your twin flame or, uh, or soulmate. But they just here to teach you a lesson. I had already discussed that before. Just be careful. You're going to be feeling left out in the cold if you open that door back up. Believe me, they come back. It's some, they want something. They want something from you. They're just trying to win at all costs. Once they get what they want from you, then they're gone again. At the bottom of the deck... <laughs> What is going on? I got some of the bottom of the deck. It's the devil. A lot of you guys were dealing with a Capricorn or somebody that's toxic. This person had a lot of options. Whoever this person had, this person had a lot of options. They came to you talking about they want to work on things. But yet and still, it was a game. This person was so like had an eagle. <laughs> So, please, you guys, if you accept these, this pass back, make sure you use your intuition. They only coming back sometimes just to play you. So, be careful, okay? If you like my reading, give me a thumbs up. Bye-bye.